Today, I'm going to show you how to build a 4mm scale, plate layers hut card kit for your model railway. This hut is a southern railway styled structure. The kit is available from the online shop called a model railway card kit shop. The web link is in the description below. The plate layers hut is one of over 35 structures available. Each kit has a recommended modeler skill level rating. This one is rated intermediate, which means the modeler has some previous experience of kit building. The instructions include a materials list and tool list. Sticky backed paper, gray board, transparent film and wire, where required, are available as a materials kit from the shop. The instructions take the form of full color images of key build stages and bullet point instructions. Here is the card kit. It is supplied as a .pdf file that I have printed. The hut is available in three decorative styles. This is the nearly new version. One side of the print needs to be glued to grey board and the components on the other side of the print are to be cut out individually when instructed. The board is 0.75mm thick. Following the step-by-step -step instructions, the floor is cut out first. It needs to be increased in thickness three-fold. So, I use the spare board to make a stack of three. Now I add the decoration layer. Use a ruler to cut accurately. But if you have a steady hand, you can do it without a ruler for small parts like this. Align the decoration layer to the floor corners using the corner cutouts of the decoration layer as a guide. Then fold over the flaps and stick to the rear. We now turn to the walls. If you wish to fit the window glass, then the window panes of the end wall need to be removed. Because they are so small, you can cut them out by spearing each corner rather than using a straight line cut. This helps to preserve the small window bars, which might otherwise be accidentally cut through. It is important to have a very sharp blade for this task. Check your cuts have completely gone through to the rear and then pop out the window pane. If you do cut through the bars then try cutting new ones from spare board and glue in place. The window panes also need to be removed from the inner window end. This time, I used straight cuts and then peeled away the panes from the sticky backed paper. It is less important if you break the window bars here because the inside of the hut is unlikely to be seen in detail. Carefully cut around the part and peel it away from the sticky backed paper. Then set it aside until we have prepared the glass. Cut 30mm from the transparent film and stick the inner window end to it ensuring the glass covers the window frames. I did not quite place it correctly within the width of the part and had to cut off the resulting overlap. Next, stick the assembly behind the previously made end wall. Next we fit the web. Cut out window end web and its white blanks.
glue it over the web decoration on the end wall assembly. Now, I will assemble the side wall. Cut out window side web, including its white blanks and set it aside. Cut out one of the side backs. Stick the side, without words, centrally to the window side web. Check the overlaps are equal and leave them in place. Cut out the four white blanks. Cut out the part called side. Glue the side web assembly over the web decoration of side. Cut out inner side and stick it to the rear. Then fold the flaps to the rear. The same assembly method is used to build the other two walls of the hut, noting that the glass for the other side wall needs to be set back about 3mm from the end of the wall. Cut out the door and door back. Align the door back to the top flaps of the door and stick down. Then fold and stick down the left and top flaps, followed by the right hand flap. Glue the door into the door end wall. I shall now assemble the walls to the floor. I am using the window end wall as a guide to set equal gaps between it and the floor sides before gluing in place the side wall. Ensure the two walls are aligned correctly as shown here, as you glue in place the window end wall. Glue in place the other two walls. Cut out the roof and the ceiling. Stick the ceiling to the blank side of the roof. Then score the two grey lines. Next, fold the flaps to the same angle as the end wall. Apply glue to the inside top edge of the walls and fit the roof, checking it is flush with the top of the walls. If it slips lower, use a blade between the walls and roof to lift it. Cut out all end and side valences. Glue the end valences to the end walls, flush with the wall tops and noting that they overlap the end wall sides a little. Glue the side valences between the end valances. Adjust all so that the valences line up at their base and are level. Using medium grade sandpaper, smooth the unevenness of the roof chamfers. Do not press hard. Let the grit of the sandpaper do the work. Cut out the roof layer and, with the small grey square towards the window end wall, stick it squarely to the side valence. Fold and stick the remainder to the roof and the other side valence. Cut out the six chimney stacks and glue together, adjusting for squareness.
This next stage is quite fiddly. Cut out the chimney with its backing paper but not its dark rectangles. Temporarily wrap it around the chimney stack and note that the two ends do not meet. Sandpaper the chimney stack sides until the ends of the chimney do meet. Remove from the chimney stack and carefully cut and peel away the four dark rectangles. Stick the chimney around the stack, leaving the flap upright. You may find that the top becomes distorted. In this case use tweezers to square up the top as much as possible. Cut out the chimney cap. If necessary, trim to fit inside the top of the chimney. Apply glue to the edges of the cap, even if you use sticky back paper. I recommend you lay the chimney onto one of its sides and then offer the cap into the top of the chimney. Using the flat of your scalpel blade, gently press the sides to the cap, turning as required and with the chimney laid on a side. Adjust position using the tip of the scalpel blade through the windows. Set aside until the glue has set. To stiffen the window pillars, apply a drop of cyanoacrylate glue to the tip of the scalpel blade and wipe it on the inside of each window pillar, accessed through the window. This may darken the window surrounds which might be considered a suit. Finally, fold and stick the flap to the cap. If chimney construction failed, then try again by stripping everything from the chimney stack. Increase its height by two slabs cut from spare board and apply the spare chimney leaving the four rectangles intact. Check the chimney sits upright on the roof, sanding its base if necessary until it does. Then glue it to the grey square on the roof. Now you can install the hut on your model railway. Here, it is accompanied by a tool hut, which is available as a free option with plate layer hut purchases. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.